going on, Sergeant Parrish? How you feel? I'm good, Sergeant. I'm good. Were you able to make it all your appointments today on time? Yes, Sergeant. Even mental health? Hey, look, man, there's nothing to be ashamed about. There's nothing wrong with the men you need help. So I've heard, Sergeant. So I've heard. First Sergeant says you didn't want a farewell. No, sir, I don't. Why is that? With all due respect, this really isn't an occasion we're celebrating. Look, I know how you feel, and I can't say that I blame you. But what happened out there wasn't your fault. You're a damn good soldier. I wish I had an entire unit of soldiers like you. Men died because of me. Think about the man who made it home because of you. You can't beat yourself up over casualties of war. All you can do is honor the memory of your fallen brother. There you go, sir. I got my final lot appointment at 1300. Well, it was an honor having you as one of my soldiers. I hope you make it easy to transition to the civilian world. Thank you. What is sleep? Something I haven't encountered in days, weeks, months maybe. Crazily labeled sane. Weighing out my problems on the scale. And balance chemicals in my brain. Well, possibly I got some problems. But I can solve them on my own Self-medicate when I'm at home But I can't shake these dark thoughts when I'm alone So why is my hand on this chrome? With one bullet put it to my dome Wait, let me zone out Open up that zone White owls rule the night Break them up Seeds birth from mother nature's green earth Set fire to it and watch the wind blow Ease my mental capacity to escape this reality Imagining empty in a magazine In a battle scene Where your best friend stares tragically You're panicking Take a few more sips As you drift on that cloud Never wanting to come down Cause you know when your boots on ground There's no escape That cycle on repeat And I just want to sleep Dear God I just want to sleep As you can see, ma'am, I filed my first claim about like six months ago and I haven't received any of that yet. Um, I don't see your name on file, so you file the necessary documents? I guess. The lady I talked to said everything was squared away. Well, who did you talk to last time? I, I don't remember. It was an older lady, though. She wore glasses. Well, I don't know who that is, so, and I don't see your paperwork, so. So what? So, what do you want me to do? So I'd like for you to give a damn about my all paperwork. Right, first of all, I don't like your attitude, okay? I'm tired of all of you guys coming up in here, giving me attitude, demanding shit, okay? Acting like you're the only one that has problems. I have problems too. Everybody's got problems, okay? God. I'm sorry. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but is, is there anybody you can call about my paperwork? Um, yes, hold on. Hey, girl. Yeah. How are you? Good. I know, me too. Yeah, can you look up a claim for me? It's under... Vincent, comma, Parrish. Yeah, it's 412-89-8211. Yeah. No, I didn't. I never said that to her boyfriend. Well, you can tell her that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I didn't go to her party. Ma'am, Yeah, about my I wasn't invited. Ma'am. Hey, I am on the phone. Unbelievable. People just have no manners. Anymore. That's what it is. No one cares. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Well? Well, what? My paperwork. Where is it? Okay. Lower your voice. All right? It's being sent. What does that mean exactly? Okay. It's in the main VA office. It's being processed. 
So just wait six to 12 weeks. What am I supposed to do until then? There's a door behind you, so walk on out of it and wait six to 12 weeks. Next. As you can see from my resume, I've spent about eight years in the Army without getting extensive leadership experience. Mm -hmm. I've also taken uh, college courses while serving, so I have about 60 credit hours. <laughs> I see. Well, it was nice meeting you, Mr. Parrish. Uh, we'll keep your resume on file. Look, ma'am. I'm sorry, Mr. Parrish. You're just not the candidate we're looking for. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry? That's all you have to say? I've put my ass on the line for this country more occasions than I care to count. I lost brothers just to come home to an empty house after my wife took my son. I fought for your damn freedom to sit behind that desk. You know what it's like to live behind an Humvee, handing out MREs, not knowing when your next hot meal is going to be? Someone you considered a damn brother dying on your lap. So don't you dare tell me what the fuck I'm qualified for. Security. When a soldier can no longer fight, then what is his purpose? Urging and efficient on a mission of killing insurgents. But as a civilian, is he worthless? Uniformed hugs and handshakes, thank you for serving. Urbanized guerrilla warfare, but suburban life seems uncertain. No wife and kids, they desert them. That's the sacrifice you make. Evaluate what you hold sacred. Because he fights for the same rights you use to hate with, yet you hate him. Parade rest for picking lines and funeral processions. But it's only for the fallen, the forgotten, left to sit and rot, plop down on that corner, no 21 guns, folded flags, or burial plots, they just cease to exist. In the midst of intermixing mental illness with evil spirits, that's why a story you'll never hear it. A soldier hard fought to be forgotten. Ew, no, get a job, you bum.